and welcome back to Among with Monica. My name is Monica, and Among with Monica is used to encourage, equip, and empower others through the Word of God so that you can live a life of healing, freedom, and purpose. So in today's video, I want to talk about what it means to break free from limitations and why it's so important that we allow God to break us free from the limitations that we've put on ourselves and the limitations that we've allowed others to put on us. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So when I think about limitations, I think about David, right? So David, before he went to go fight the Philistine, David was, you know, he was at his home and his father was like, hey, bring some food to your brothers. You know, they're at war and, you know, they need to eat and everything. So go ahead and carry this and um, bring it to your brothers. So his brothers are at war, you know, everyone's at war, everyone's trying to like defeat the Philistines. It was, the Israelites are trying to defeat, defeat the Philistines and they want to win this battle. And the king is Saul. So Saul is king and um, the biggest obstacle for Saul is really the Philistines because they've tried to defeat them over and over again. And this time they wanted like a promised victory. And not only that, but you know, the Philistine was like, Oh, you know, you're not going to defeat us. You can't handle us. Like, you're not going to win. There's no way. And so David comes into the scene and sees this big giant Philistine. And he's like, you know, I got this. Like, I can handle him. Like, he's telling everyone, I got this. His brothers are like, you know, you need to stop. You need to stay over there. And um, then, like, um, hit Saul. He went to Saul. And he was like, you know, I can handle it. Like, I can do this. Like, I can fight. And Saul's like, you know, I'm not really sure. And then, I'm just paraphrasing y'all. And then Saul gives him his um, his armor. He's like, okay, go with this. And that was the limit because Saul, um, because Saul saw that the only way David could win, he was like, if I give you something of mine, then, then of course you'll be able to win because I've won many battles with this armor. So I'm going to give it to you. And then I believe that you're going to win with this because I won. So that was the limit because that was a limitation because David could win as long as he has God on his side. And we can always win and we can always achieve what we need to do in life as long as we have God on our side. So David tries to try it on and it doesn't fit. It's like too heavy. It's a distraction, really. And he's like, no, you know, I just can't use this. And David goes what to he goes to what he knows, his slingshot. You know, he's like, I got this. I fought lions before. I've done all of this. I can handle this. You know, I'm, I, it may seem like I'm a sheep boy. And that's what they looked at him as. Oh, he's just a sheep boy. You know, he's just, uh, you know, he's just in the sheep. Um, he's just tendering to the sheep. He does his little music thing on the side, you know, pray his praise and worship. But he can't really, he can't do much. And that was a limitation they put on him. They put so many limitations. But he said, you know, God is my Jehovah Gabor. He says, God is with me. Like, I can do this because God is with me. And so when I think of breaking free from limitations from your, ourselves and people, I think about the story of David. He broke free from that limitation. And what did he do? He went and defeated the giant. He defeated the Philistines. And they were like, what? David did it with his slingshot, with what the Lord gave him, with what the skills that the Lord gave him is how he won. So you have to think about it for yourself. The way you're going to get through um, and pass that obstacle in your life, whatever is hindering you and holding you back, is going to be with God in everything that he's given you. If you allow yourself to listen to the, the mindsets of people and how they feel, can you really do that? Did God tell you to do that? You're going to be stuck. You're never going to move forward. But I love how David said, no, I got God. You know, he's with me. He taught me how to use this thing. I defeated a lion before, so I'm good. Like, I can handle it. And he went and, and did what he knew the Lord was telling him to do. And guess what? Victory happened. And when victory happened, they couldn't really say anything anymore, you know? Maybe they could have been mad, like, I guess. But at the end of the day, God showed himself. God proved himself to David. And David proved with God on his side, no limitations or box that anybody put him in was going to hold him back. And so I want you to believe that for yourself in your life. Whatever the Lord has called you to do, know that he, if he's with you, you can do it. You can achieve all things. You can do all things through Christ. And so... When I also think of limitations, I see how it stunts our growth. Think about it for a minute. Think about something that someone said to you. For instance, if someone said that you would never graduate high school 
and um, you find yourself this year, you're, you know, you're going to 12th grade, maybe you're suffering from you know, not having enough credits and you don't know what you're gonna do, and you feel defeated. But that could be a stronghold, that could be a limitation because that's something they spoke over you and now you feel like you can't do it and you've allowed what they spoke to come into your mind and to become a stronghold. And strongholds stop us from doing what God has called us to do. So you gotta shake it off and you gotta be like, no, I rebuke that. I am gonna graduate high school. I am gonna do what the Lord told me to do. You know, if I have to work extra hard, if I gotta put double in the work, I'm gonna get it done because God is with me and I can do all things through him. And you have to also remove the limitations that you put on yourself. How many times have I sat there in my room and I'm doing homework or I'm about to study for an exam and I'm just like, I can't do this. I quit. Like, I'm over it. And then I'm like, then I really have no energy to do it. And then I really want to give up. And I can't <laughs> because graduation is near. And so it's the same for you. If you're writing that book, you know, you have to keep pressing forward. I can do it. If you're ready to start that YouTube channel and you're trying to search up on Google what to do, how to start, how to prepare, you can do it. You have to speak those positive um, affirmations over yourself and over your life. Stop allowing yourself to limit yourself by speaking negative. When you speak negative over yourself, when you speak negative over what God promised you, just because you don't see it, you limit yourself, right? Um, faith without works is dead. So we have to speak it but we also have to put the action behind it. Don't limit God just because you don't see it yet. And don't allow people to limit you and keep you in. Let me tell you, like, people, I love people. <laughs> but people will make you feel as though you can't do what God called you to do. And it's really because it's something that they're struggling with internally. So they just feel like, oh, no, God, no, God didn't call you to do that because that's too big for you. So you need to like sit over here and you need to do this because this is how I got through it, X, Y, and Z. And so you need to do it that way. And God is like, no, <laughs> I got a different way for you. Like th those are not your shoes to step in. You have your own shoes to step in to get into your purpose. But people will just say things and kind of like derive you from your purpose or deter you and, you know, make you go a different route and make you be like, did God really say that? Is God really with me? Because this thing is bigger than me. But the way people have put me in this box, it's like they believe this is all I can do. And so you have to really seek the face of God to break free from the limitations of people like David did. David said, the Lord is with me. I'm going to use what he gave me. And you have to do the same for yourself. What are the strategies the Lord gave you? What are the, you know, the creative ideas that he put inside your head and your mind? What are the things that the Lord is saying? And it may look different. You know, that's another way we limit ourselves because it looks different from how, you know, this person, Susie down the street, you know, whoever did it, it looks different from how he did it, JJ or whatever. And because it looks different, it's like, oh no, God, you, there's no way you call me to do that because I ain't never seen nobody do it like that before. So that's too different for me. I just want to be like the ordinary. And so that's how you limit yourself. Know that even if it's different, even if it's higher, a higher calling, even if it's like a greater purpose than you can see for yourself or ever envision, if God is with you, you can do it. Now it's going to be hard work and it's going to take a lot of energy. You're going to go through some spiritual warfare, but you got to stay in God in order to come out victorious. So I just wanted to share a quick word with you guys and encourage you to break free from those limitations. The next time the Lord tells you, daughter, son, I see you doing this. I'm calling you higher. I'm calling you to achieve this this year because I believe even in these last six months, there is going to be like um, just manifestations of flourishing is happening in people's lives. It's not even going to be. It's happening now. But many of us just have to tap in. But we can't tap in if we're letting ourselves be limited. Stop limiting yourself. Stop allowing people to limit you. You can do all things through Christ. So I just wanted to share some encouragement with you guys and let you know that I'm looking forward to you flourishing. I'm looking forward to you breaking free from limitations and becoming the awesome person that God has created you to be. And um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and uh, like, comment, share with someone if you were blessed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!